this is my first time actually traveling out of the country and it happens to be me leaving Nigeria permanently to gain a day it's amazing it's beautiful it's beautiful let me look away hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's me Finke Lemo. welcome back guys thank you so much for the love you showed me in my welcome video like the comments we we're giving they were giving vibes they were giving Funke welcome to youtube channel so i was so excited i was happy and the fact that it was on my birthday again you guys just showered in me with love thank you so much for subscribing we are close to 100 subscribers by faith i'm saying that by the time you're seeing this video we are already 100 subscribers or even above but thank you so much for the love you've showed me i was so happy and i am still so happy for the love so far keep the comments coming in guys keep the love coming in guys if you've not subscribed please what are you waiting for just subscribe already if you are watching my face and you have not subscribed just subscribe just click that button and subscribe and also turn on your notifications so when video come you know you can just get notified that yes when Kelly Mars dropped another video Thank you so much for the love. I cannot say thank you enough. Thank you, Eshun. For my people, Eshigun. Then for my Igbo people, what, is, what this is? What's Igbo? Thank you. I don't know. Then for my also people, now go there so say, yeah. I don't know what Igbo is. Help me in the comments. But thank you guys so much. I am so grateful. Thank you. You guys are the real MVPs. Like you are the foundation of my YouTube channel. Ha. Thank you guys so much. I love you so much. So this video, like you already saw in the title, it's my journey from Nigeria to Canada as a pregnant woman. And I'll be taking you guys through the journey, through the, the flight process, how it all went and everything. So stay tuned. You'll be watching real-time videos. So stay tuned, guys, and enjoy it. Yes, enjoy it. All right, so the video would be coming in different parts, just like our Nollywood film, right? Because I don't want it to be too long, so I'm going to have to split it into parts. You have part one, part two, part three, depending on how I'm able to put the video together. So just stay tuned. This is the first part, part one. Enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Comment, you know, just show your girl some love. Like the video and share. Thank you guys so much. Let's move back and watch. If we meet, I'll be watching. Guys, thank you so much. Mwah. I just woke up not long. I just brushed my teeth, washed my face because I don't want to look so mad. Glory be to God. The PR came March 17th. That's like almost two months ago. Yeah, almost two months ago. And we got our um, passport and visa stamped a month and a week after, after March 17th. So we had already booked our flight long before. Just, we just gave some benefits of doubt and we did it. We should actually we booked our flight earlier for May 2nd, but when we said that um, it was possible that we didn't get our passport back before then, we had to reschedule the flight. I'm trying to clear out my luggage and stuffs and get ready to leave this place in like four, four to five hours. Although our flight is at night, but you know, we cannot risk leaving like two hours before our flight because of traffic in Lagos. So, we believe in it early in the afternoon so that we get there in good time and still have time to sort out our luggage hopefully it's not going to be overweight because we tried our best to make sure that it's within it's not even up to 23 kg so hopefully it is the same thing when we get there packing and everything has been really overwhelming and stressful you know i cannot do my regular bending down like i would do if i wasn't pregnant so it's been really stressful trying to maneuver packing things and the energy level but thankfully, I've had support, you know, to help me pack up my things and all, and it's been amazing. I've majorly said my goodbyes. I didn't say, I deliberately did not want to be saying goodbyes on the day I'm traveling. Because I need to be very, very emotional for me, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to get myself into all of that. I've had to sink it in that I'm truly leaving, you know. My family's in Nigeria, and I'm really leaving. And I'm really, really close to my siblings. 
so the fact that i'm leaving them i've tried to just you know swallow it in and get used to it you know and hopefully this will be an opportunity for them to also come over you know to canada i know it's rolling everything is rolling but i'm pregnant yes that's why but you know with time you know you see my cheeky side but i'm enjoying it i'm still a baby girl forget about it anything you see anything you think but that's it sham so guys see you on my way to the airport see you on my way to the airport <laughs> if i remember any other thing i'll come back and i'll say it be me be me be me be me peace out agitation here and there what's it gonna be like traveling as a pregnant woman the journey how would you manage it and stuff i'll let you guys know i joined some groups you know of pr preggies you know and it's really been supportive for giving us their landing story explaining what and what they had to do what and what they had not to do and how it was like so yeah, i'm hoping that it's just a very smooth journey i'm really very really hopeful that it's a very smooth journey for me i'm 27 and two days i should have said that earlier but if i haven't 27 weeks and two days pregnant and i'm very very fit to fly i also did get a report from my doctor here in nigeria so in case if they ask at the airport that where is your feet to fly but i'm good i don't have a big bum i'll show you guys when i'm dressed to get to the airport i'll show you pictures and be a little bit of videos but that's it so we move up i'm not forgetting anything no so this is a picture of me at the airport with my siblings you know i was saying that i was going to take videos and show you what my bump look like <laughs> But apparently, there was never even any time to do any of that. I said it earlier that, oh, we'll leave for the airport around 2. We did not happen. We didn't leave for the airport until around 6, 6.30. We just got delayed unavoidably. There was nothing we could do to help it. It was the bank. The bank delayed us and we needed, you know, to get some foreign um, currency before leaving. They delayed us till like 6 30 so we rushed to the airport and thankfully there was no traffic so this is us trying to board get settled in the plane till we enter the plane like this <laughs> oh my god like we're just like i hope you're not going to miss this flight by the time we got to the airport they were almost closing the gates like for checking in because i was pregnant they just you know just use that one to just pity me you know and we got in they didn't even have time to start checking our luggage one by one they just even packed everything thank god it wasn't weighing more than 23 kg i mean each each um package we, we made sure that each boxes were not weighing more than 23 kg and that was an advantage for us so there was no stress of reshuffling the the bags we're very very strict with telling ourselves that ah, it must not be more than 23 kg so this is us we already got a seat trying to settle in you know and um just get ready for the flight till we enter this plane till the plane took off we were still like you know we're still agitated and worried like reflecting back on the kind of day we had after we already planned that I told her told her in bad past two o'clock we go come off for house, you know, from Lekki then and head to the airport so we we'll get there early and relax. But it didn't happen no sixty thousand we left and we got there like eight thirty. I was running like this with my bomb. I was running <laughs> to the gates, we got checked in immigration so it was smooth. This was us. We met a Nigerian family too that was also relocating canada we're just trying to know you know like what's up where are you guys going welcome on board they had a toddler so we're just trying to know familiarize ourselves since we knew it was going to be a long trip so this was um klm airline and it was to amsterdam so we had already taken off here there was enough leg room but me you know because i'm pregnant i was just trying to stretch my leg make sure i'm comfortable and because i had been we had been in the car for i'd been in the car for a really long time while waiting at the bank my feet were already swollen so i had to elevate it a bit 
and get really comfortable there so that was how it was i was just feeling myself here stretching my feet ready to leave the country and here is me saying bye bye to nigeria i was just looking at like ah you push out you don't want me to leave today 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 but you're all like bah, you lie i leave i go yeah so we're already leaving here and i was like bye bye nigeria i show i show i spent 29 years of my life here thank you <laughs> okay aha this food i don't know what they were thinking they knew that they were coming to take nigerians i don't know what they put in the food it was it wasn't even funny i did not enjoy the food at all that KLM provided on this flight look at me squeezing my face trying to see if there are other menus on other people you know table because i just had to just manage look at look at what i'm doing like what's this Ilele. why can't you people make jollof rice or amala do? Maybe because I was pregnant, it even it even worsened my taste board. I just couldn't. The only thing I could eat was just picking out the chicken in the whatever they served us, and having the cake. That was the only thing I could eat. The rest, I just returned it back to them, and I took our produce as much as I wanted. That was it. I was really really struggling to eat something, and the unfortunate thing was. Because of how we were even agitated and rushing, I already got stuff to eat in the plane. I forgot the bag at home, like in the house. I forgot it, all the things I bought that, okay, I'm going to munch and eat while flying. I forgot everything. I was just managing here. But oh, we survived. Here is a closer picture of what I ate and what I did not eat. I had the dessert. Yeah, I think it's dessert. Yes. It was like a chocolate cake. I had that. Then whatever I said is white. This white thing. I didn't eat it. I gave it back to them. Like I didn't even open it. I was not ready to mess up my tongue. Then the the other thing in the black, whatever that is, I forgot what they called it. I should have picked the chicken and I dropped it. So here we're very close to um Amsterdam. They were already telling us that okay, it was time for us to land and all of that the flight was like eight hours or so so we're getting ready to land in amsterdam i slept i watched movie it was 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 fun i enjoyed the flight it was it was quite smooth no blah, 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 no tablet and all of that it was quite smooth so there it is <gasps> I don't know the name, but landed in Amsterdam, the airport. The flight was very, very smooth and cool. No biggie. So just the regular stopover for like eight hours or so. Or five hours. <laughs> 